Hey Eastside Smarty Pants, welcome to our Eastside Kids Vid. I'm Teacher Paul. And I'm Teacher Amber. We're so glad to have you with us today for our cooking show. I hope you had fun making fancy dishes and being culinary artists. Culinary artists? Well, wait a minute. We are not painting a picture or sculpting sculptures or playing the harpsichord or the banjo. No, that's true. But did you know that cooks and chefs and bakers are also artists? They make their art with their food. Oh, okay. I see. Hmm. You know, before we forget, let's jump into our big rule today, which is always be kind. Here at Eastside Kids, we want to be kind to everyone. So what's our challenge today then? Well, for today's challenge, we're going to make spaghetti. Do you like Italian food? Oh my goodness, I love Italian food. I love pasta e fagioli. I love stromboli. I love chicken alfredo, ravioli, pizza, cannelloni. Mamma mia, I love Italian food. Me too. So let's go into the kitchen and cook up some spaghetti and meatballs. Whoa, look at our kitchen. Oh, it's so warm and sunny and it doesn't feel like winter. Are we in Bible times? I don't think so. This looks like a kitchen in Tuscany, the heart of Italy. What better place could we find to cook Italian food? Of course. Okay, let's begin. Uh, Teacher Amber, do you have a recipe? No. Oh man, I forgot my recipe book at home. How are we going to make spaghetti and meatballs? Uh, well, I guess we could try winging it. I mean, how hard is it to make pasta? I mean, you just need some water and some noodles, I right? I don't know. I, I remember we tried cooking without a recipe before without help from Raphael last week. Do you remember that? Yeah, that's right. We needed help from Raphael. Um, he's not here. Should we go maybe get your recipe book from Canada? That's, that's a long way. I don't know. Start with boiling the pasta. Then strain what, the noodles. Do you hear that? Yeah, I mean, are you a ventriloquist? No. What's a ventriloquist? Someone who can make their voice sound like it's somewhere else. Well, that didn't sound like me. Who was that? Hello? Hello? Start with boiling the Weird. pasta. But they're giving us instructions to cook. Hmm. Do you think we should follow the voice? What do you think, Isai kids? Yes, follow the voice. All right. I don't know. Okay, I guess let's follow the voice and make some pasta. Okay. Hey, so what did the voice say again? Yes, now add the spaghetti. Mm, use spaghetti noodles. Okay. That's a good start. All right. For well, making spaghetti. Yeah, you need spaghetti okay. noodles. Yeah, so we've spaghetti. got some spaghetti noodles in our... Our boiling water here. Okay, yes. into the Boil pot. the spaghetti. Mm. Okay, what next voice? Now add some spices. Mm. Assorted okay. Italian spices. spices. Spices are good. Yeah. yeah like yeah. some cinnamon. Cinnamon. Or some oregano. I think oregano is good. Or reg Lego. Uh, yeah, it's like Legos. Lego, but spices. Like spices. Ground up Legos. Mm. Um, okay, what, uh, else? what is next voice? Now mix in some pasta sauce. Oh, pasta sauce. That's a great okay. idea. Pasta okay, sauce. let's heat up some pasta sauce mm. to go with our spaghetti. Now, like this is a very important sauce. family uh, secret oh. recipe. Add oh, a really? donut. Donuts? No, really? Are you sure, voice? I hope this voice knows what they're talking about. Yeah, we have to trust the voice. All right. Okay, well, donut. sprinkle donut, chocolate donut, Maple bar donut. Maple bar donut. Okay. Uh, anything else we need in the spaghetti? Now add some fried okra for Ooh, texture. Fried okra. Okra. Yum. What is okra? Southern delight. See here. Mm, it's kind of slimy. 
taste? I mean, it smells interesting. Yeah. Let's see if it tastes interesting too. All right, let's okay. add it in. Try it open. Add some tuna fish. And what was that? Tuna fish? Tuna fish? Hmm. I don't. I don't know if we should trust this voice. Does this voice really know what they're talking about? Well, so far it's been right with the spaghetti noodles and the pasta sauce. And I mean, perhaps maybe you could have a fishy flavor? Okay, into the pot it goes. All right. Okay, what next? Yeah, to bring what out next? the natural sweetness. Um, Add some jelly beans. Wait a minute. Maple syrup. It says a handful of jelly beans and a dash of maple syrup. I, I heard it too, but I didn't think spaghetti was supposed to be too sweet. <sighs> well, you remember that movie where that elf just eats uh, spaghetti and maple syrup with jelly beans? So it might be a sweet kind of pasta. That sounds really weird. Okay, All let's right. try it out. Well, let's, let's try it. Okay. Uh, I think that's about it. Uh, let's see what, let's see how it tastes. Okay. All right. Mm, doesn't smell too bad. Yeah, it has a s interesting aroma of all flavors. We need some bowls to try this out. Okay. This is a very strange pasta dish. Are you sure the voice is telling us the right stuff? Yes. Follow the voice. Mm -hmm. Trust the recipe. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. You know what? This reminds me of a Bible story about Samuel. You guys remember about Samuel, right? Yeah, I remember Samuel. He was that little boy. Yeah, that little boy Samuel. He had an encounter from a strange voice telling him some amazing things, and he had no idea who it was. Let's check out our Bible story. Awesome. So, Eastside kids, remember our Bible story last week about Hannah and her baby? God answered her prayers and gave, and she gave birth to a special son named Samuel. He was a special kid. He was going to be a prophet one day. So, Hannah took Samuel to the temple to learn more about God. Now, Eli the priest taught Samuel all about God through Bible stories, memorizing scriptures, maybe even watching East Side Kids vids on YouTube. Well, maybe not, but Samuel learned a lot about God. However, Samuel never met or heard God yet. Then, one night, Samuel was sleeping when he heard a voice calling his name. Samuel. Samuel, the voice said. Samuel ran to the priest Eli, thinking he wanted a midnight snack of milk and cookies. Eli didn't want that. He never called for Samuel and sent Samuel right back to bed. And again, Samuel heard the voice. Samuel, Samuel. And he thought, Old man Eli must be calling him because the temple was on fire. He woke up Eli again, and Eli was so confused, and he sent Samuel back to bed. But just as Samuel was about to go back to sleep, he heard the voice again. Samuel, Samuel, the voice said. Samuel ran back to Eli. He was thinking, he must be losing his marbles. But Eli awoke and thought Samuel was losing his marbles. Then Eli realized that God was calling Samuel. So he told Samuel to answer God the next time he's called. So Samuel went back to bed and sure enough, the voice said, Samuel, Samuel, but this time, Samuel sat up and said, Speak, Lord, I'm listening. It was God. God told Samuel amazing things. Things that were going to happen in the future. Things that were going to happen to Samuel and his country. 
Samuel couldn't believe it. What's special is that God just didn't speak to Samuel once. He spoke to Samuel all the time. And Samuel, Samuel became a prophet for the entire country. All because he decided to listen. Wow, that was a pretty cool story about how God talked to Samuel. But it was also pretty cool that Samuel learned to listen. Yeah, listening is really, 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 really important, especially when it comes to God telling us things. You know, I'm wondering, how could God speak to me through a voice like Samuel? Maybe only when I'm asleep. Well, God can speak to you when you're asleep, maybe through dreams, or even speaking to you like your ears can hear. But sometimes God also speaks to us in our heart, or through a Bible story, or through nature, or a worship song, or even an Eastside Kids vid. The important thing is we have to pay attention and listen. You know, that reminds me of our memory verse. For we are God's handiwork, created in Jesus Christ to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. That's Ephesians 2, 10. Whoa, hmm. that voice again. Do you think it's God? That's silly. I'm not God. Hmm, well, who is it then? It is me, Chef oh, Raphael. Oh, Chef Raphael. I was trapped in an outhouse. I was trying to help you cook your spaghetti. I see. Well, that makes complete sense now. Speaking of spaghetti, I think our spaghetti is ready. Mmm, dish up. Mmm, smells wonderful mm -hmm. and such vibrant colors. Let's let's try it. All right, here we go. Can you like it? You, you try. Not bad. Mmm, you know what? It has a very unique flavor. Mm. We just need some more jelly beans and maple syrup. I think it's good the way it is. Well, I'm glad you like it. Mm. Well, kids, that's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our kids' channel on YouTube. And check out the links below for some awesome worship music. We'll see you again next week. Bye. Bon appetit. Bon appetit.